This is K Critiques. Hello, 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 my lovely listeners. You are tuned in to the K Critique Show with DJ K Mabs, where we discuss all things South African television. Team Tietzi or Team Whiskey? Which side are you on? <laughs> Don't mind me. I was just practicing my radio personality voice because this new show from show max is 016 fm season one and yes we are live on a on radio and i am so excited to be bringing you guys episode one to episode three on this review today if you want more up-to-date reviews please do make sure that you catch your girl on tiktok at k underscore mad now let's get into it i think i did a pretty good job please do let me know in the comment section down below how did i do do you see me on radio could i be on radio i honestly feel like these three episodes were introductory episodes that really helped us to gather some data points on the situation at hand and some of the storylines that we will be focusing on and also being able to gauge the personality of the characters and i think episode one really sets up the scene pretty well in the first scene we see utiety with mama jane having breakfast all is fine and dandy until she has a dementia episode and i feel like this is going to be a major storyline as things heat up we're going to be seeing more of the dementia aspect and i like that they're bringing awareness to it as well and next we are now live on the radio and we see our lively dj risky whiskey 18 and he definitely embodies his name because he is very very risky he calls up the sponsor of the radio station with charity manzini and degrades her live on air and she pulls out and wants to sue the station and this is what actually sets the story in motion because now radio station is at risk of shutting down and we need to find a way to save now whiskey feeling guilty goes to ask a club owner who also has some suspicious criminal activity on the side to be the new sponsor of the station and his name is pious and Brapai actually agrees but wants Whiskey to be the station manager to which Tietzi object. So now they decide to have a programathon where everyone in the community will have to be the one to decide who will win. And this programathon is now called the Gual of the Vow. We also see now Brapai, he's getting insider information from a cop that they're about to raid his place looking for iron and copper and he needs to find a place to actually stash the stuff and he gets this brilliant and this perfect idea that the stuff is going to be stored at 016 fm but he needs to get somebody on the inside and this somebody is named queen and her job is basically to infiltrate the place from inside they plan to use the station as a hub and they're gonna be hiding in plain sight if you will but now the game is on cnc and whiskey have to get a fire line up and guess for the qual in order for them to win and the thing is this is where we see the stock differences between Utieti and whiskey whiskey is more in tune with social media and he's tapped into the youth market whereas Utieti is Amadala, whereas this time around we have his deadbeat dad, Professor Muswe Chagela, who comes now into the mix and he's quote unquote helping, but he's sabotaging in the long run. And the thing is, he's doing all of this without Tieti's permission. Like he's doing all of this without even consulting with Tieti. I don't know what he's trying to achieve, but it angered me so much that you're not even in my life and you haven't been in my life for years and now you want to come around acting like everything is all fine and dandy oh my son i'm so proud of you oh you're gonna win this competition and you're going around and trying to do things on my behalf without even consulting me that would make me 
as it's getting even more angry on this other hand we see whiskey he's going online he's going live on social media and he's really getting the youth riled up they're on his side and Utiet is at a loss because he's trying to get the youth on his side but they're like ah oh, madala tina we're rolling with whiskey we're team whiskey you're you're old-fashioned and we don't rock with you on the other side whiskey is hitting on the toya i don't know if this is going anywhere or if it's serious or it's just a flirtation for now so i'm not really gonna speak on it i don't really have enough information on both whiskey and latoya for me to be able to make a decision about whether or not i'm shipping them but judging from the first episode and the type of character and the type of personality that whiskey has i wouldn't ship him with any woman because he comes across as immature sometimes so this side we have queen this insider she doesn't even know what her job entails and she's ruining the equipment she's not apologetic and she's really not doing a good job of going undercover like you're supposed to go there and actually pretend to work instead of just getting there and ruining everything because you're drawing more attention to yourself i don't know how that's gonna work but yeah queen she's a character she's the bougie classy woman who you can just tell that this lady is not supposed to be working on nine to five she's supposed to be a housewife somebody right and we hear more about this operation phoenix and i'm like what plan is that what is this operation phoenix what is it but let's pause that for now we're actually gonna go back to tat and he's on the quest to gather up a lineup and he manages to get dj Masedi, who's a dj who's well known liked by the youth and i feel like this is a good collaboration because tat is trying to get in touch and get in contact with the youth and get them on his side and Masedi actually needs the more older crowd that deity attracts which is going to promote his new single whiskey finds out about this and he actually asks pius for a favor and pius is like i'll help you actually win Mercedes over and get him on your team but then you're gonna owe me but now you don't know what you owe him you just know that when he comes to collect you don't need to come up with stories and excuses because he helped you without any excuses right so now he owes him a favor and i feel like this is gonna come back to bite him in the ass speaking of biting in the butt let's go back to the prof i knew the professor would ruin things i just knew and it's like why are you trying so hard yet you can't do the simple things where tnc just asked you go to the hospital and see my mother she's been asking about you you can't even do that you're not even in your son's life you're just popping out out of nowhere and you're trying to do these extravagant things yet you can't do even the simple thing that your son is asking you for your son is asking you go visit my sick mother and you can't even do that but you want to go out there and make posters and make t-shirts and caps and now your son is trending for the wrong reasons because you messed up he made posters that say team tat hashtag on the end and now people are calling it ass tag <laughs> because it's on the end i'm not even kidding when somebody was like ass tag i literally lost it what he was training for the wrong reasons whereas he's trying to train for the right reasons he's trying to win this competition because he's trying to save the station that his mother started this is his mother's station this is his mother's legacy and he's trying to save it and this dad is ruining things because why are you even doing this nobody asks you to do this but you're doing it right let's get back to operation phoenix queen makes tnt read an ad from a place called mcguena eatery but that place doesn't exist it was actually a decoy or rather a code word so that pious's men can actually hear the message on radio because right now the police are investigating pious they want to raid his place so he doesn't really have the ability to be able to make calls because they might be recording him they might be on to him they might have bugged his place so now he's using 016 fm as a way to get the message across to his men and we find out exactly what this is going to entail because as soon as tati reads the 
message it pans to us actually seeing his men in the car they listen to the radio they hear the message and as soon as they do that they arrive at this location that was hidden in code and it is a robbery that is the end of our review as well <sighs> what do i think of these episodes i think they did a really good job of setting up the story i really really liked it so far it's feeling a bit slow but hopefully it it picks up over the next few episodes i mean it only has been three episodes right but for now i don't know am i team tnt or am i team whiskey i mean shipping or being on team tnt is more logical because of their characters and their work ethic and obviously dnt would be the more logical choice in terms of somebody actually being a station manager and running the station but whiskey is more lively so he might win because he has the youth in his pocket and also the sponsor wants him to be the station manager so I don't know how this is gonna go but i can't wait to find out i can't wait to find out more to see more there's a lot that would need to be unpacked a lot that i skimmed over because i feel like at this point it's not really relevant but hopefully some of the stories do pick up over the next few episodes please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below please do hit that subscribe button and like the video it really really helps out with the algorithm and i will see you guys in the next review